Welcome to another episode. I'd like to say officially, one of my favorite things uh, in the spring is PPP. That's potluck party in the park. Of course, you can have picnics with your friends, with your relatives, but having a lot of friends come together, bring their own food, it's so exciting. We're gonna have an exciting show today, and we have quite a menu. A lot of our friends have come with a lot of great knowledge. Hopefully, they'll answer all the great questions. And my friends today are from... Yeah, welcome! The 112th Challenger of Super Kids is Pegma Elementary School of Koyangshi. Today's Challenger, Pegma Elementary School, has some things that make the school very special. The first is the English Zone. The students of Pegma Elementary School play and have fun here as they learn English. Secondly, there is the Pegma History Pavilion that has things like old textbooks and stationery. It's a special playground that takes the students back in time. Last but not least, there is the Pinma Elementary School baseball team. They have their eyes set on major leagues, and of course they practice every day. Since it was founded in 1997, this team has come first in various leagues. Wow, there are so many great things about Pinma Elementary School. <laughs> 슈퍼키즈 탐관 여러분 진심으로 축하합니다. 새로운 경험을 즐기는 여유로 오늘 모두에게 좋은 결과가 있기를 기원합니다. 백마 어린이 여러분 최고! Our first course in our party is an appetizer. It's gonna go by very quickly. We have teams and each team will do their best to get as many points as possible. They hear hints and connected to those hints are words. Good words and a lot of great categories. Would you like to know the categories? I tell you what, I'm going to the first team. They're gonna to have to randomly choose a category but let's have them or her read our list of categories. How are you? Uh... I'm very nervous. Nervous? Okay. Well, read the categories for our viewers today. Park, Park downtown, bathroom, music, Europe, warm and hot. Cool. So, which category would you like? Park. You know you can't just choose it. You get to choose a letter, right? Okay. So, uh. let's see the letters. What's your choice? A. A. Park! Hey! Lucky team! Cool. So you like going to the park? Yeah. Well, we're having a potluck party in the park at some point right now. Let's go to the park. This has leaves, branches, and roots. Tree. A common bird that is usually gray. Pet. This animal barks. Duck. A long wooden seat. Piss. This is where you can buy a quick meal. Piss. You run slowly for exercise. This has two wheels and pedals. Bicycle. Boots with a row of wheels on the bottom. Nice. This blows water into the air. Fountain. An area of water smaller than a lake. Pond. This melts in your mouth. Oh. Players of this sport make slam dunks. A common bird that is usually gray. A long wooden seat. This is where you can buy a quick meal. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Not bad, not bad. That last place, the snack bar. I'm always there eating too much. 
Okay, let's see. The team got five points. Pretty good. Let's have another one. Come on out. First team, five points. Not bad. Let's see how well our second team does. Hi, how many points would you like? Mm, well, I don't know, but I hope for about seven. Seven? Okay. Not aiming too high, not too low. I see. Well, let's check out the remaining letters. What's your choice? B. B? Downtown. Okay, so when you hear downtown, what comes to mind? Mm, well, it's my case, but I can't think of Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Okay, we'll see if that comes up. Let's go downtown. A building where you can buy stamps and send letters. Pass. A place where students go to learn things. School. You go here when you are sick. Hospital. A place that shows movies. Pass. You go here to buy things you need. Pass. A place where some people go on Sunday to pray. Pass. A place for taking walks and picnics. Pass. This place serves food. Pass. You can borrow books from here. Library. You go here if you want to catch a bus. Pass. A place your money is kept safely. Bank. A place where many animals are kept. Zoo. A building where you can buy stamps and send letters. Post office. A place that shows movies. Park. You go here to buy things you need. Pet. A place where some people go on Sunday to pray. Pass. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Well, their goal was seven. And they got six. Not far from it. Not far from it. Let's go to the next team. They seem to be getting warmer and warmer. Better and better. Five points, six points. <gasps> What's next? Who knows? Maximum 12 points and only two teams or 20 individuals will move on. Let's meet our next team. Hi. Hi. We uh, have a few more categories left. Would you like to look at the letters? Huh. E. E? Yeah. Okay. Europe. Oh my goodness. Have you ever traveled to Europe? No. Do you know anything about Europe? I didn't. Oh my goodness, I'm a bit worried right now. Okay, well, let's go to Europe. A type of money used in European Union countries. Pass. A novel written by Cervantes. All roads lead to this city. London. They have many of this in Holland. Pass. This monument is the symbol of Paris. Eiffel Tower. You'll see a lot of these small boats in Venice. Pass. These Scandinavian people were famous as warriors and pirates. Pass. This famous French soldier became the emperor. Pass. The capital of England. London. It is a famous Italian food. Pizza. Nobel Prize started in this country. A traditional Spanish dance. A type of money used in European Union countries. Euro. A novel written by Cervantes. Yes. All roads lead to this city. Aha! Yes. All roads lead to Rome, as they say in Rome. Okay. Uh, not bad. Uh, they got four points. Could have been better. Let's have another team come on out. Okay, let's meet our next team. How many points would you like? Twelve. How are you feeling? Nervous. What category would you like? Bathroom. Do you have to go to the bathroom now? No. Good. Then let's go to the bathroom. Here we go. Uh, D. D. Music! You didn't get bathroom, but it's okay. Do you like music? Yeah. Good. Let's go to music. You play this by blowing into it. Pass. People sing together in harmony. Pass. 
famous composer for the piano? Pass. A type of music that has rap in it. Pass. A conductor leads this. Pass. The lowest male singing voice. Pass. You can listen to music on this machine. Pass. This means to play slowly. Pass. This makes your voice louder. Microphone. An instrument of two pieces joined by string. Pass. A traditional Korean song. Pass. Two people singing together. Do it. You play this by blowing into it. Harmonica. People sing together in harmony. Pass. Famous composer for the piano. Radio. A type of music that has rap in it. Ah, okay. And that famous Korean type of singing, traditional singing, pansori. Very interesting to hear. They got an interesting score of three. Okay, let's go to the next round. Not too long ago, we had a difficult, well, or two difficult topics. I think that uh, Europe was a more challenging topic, so was music. Now, we are going to the world of Europe. We're going to the world of art. And if these guys studied, they'll do fine. If they didn't, they may be in trouble. Would you like to know specifically where we're going? Please. He was an artist who left behind many masterpieces. Among many other things, he was also a great scientist. Way ahead of his time, let's learn more about this ingenious man, Leonardo da Vinci. Amazing guy, Leonardo da Vinci. And uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is a pretty good actor too. Unrelated. All right, let's have two people come on out. Woo! Okay. A little bit zany right now, but number one, how are you feeling? So, so. So, so. Do you have a favorite class? Math, English, science, art. Math. Math. How about you, number 11? Favorite class? I don't really have a favorite class. Do you like school? Okay. Okay. Not so bad. That's good news. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll like this question. When Leonardo da Vinci was born in 1452, there was a new interest in art and literature in Europe. What is this period called? Yes, number 11. Renaissance. Renaissance. Correct, Amundo. Yes, the Renaissance. Okay, yes, the Renaissance. The Renaissance, big time. Two more, come on out. Number two, do you like art? Yes. Do you like going to museums? Yes. All right. How about you, number 12? Are you a museum guy? Uh, no. No, There's but do you all... like art? Huh? Do you like art? Well, yes, but I don't like coloring. I understand. I understand. When I was young, my dad would bring me to museums. I didn't like it, but later on, I grew to love art. Okay, hopefully you like this question. Prick up your ears. In 1466, Leonardo had to move to this city because of his father's job. At that time, rich merchants helped and supported many artists in this city. Where was it? Yes, number 12. I think Milano. No, number two, your chance. One. Okay, now you're both alive. It's not Milano, and it's a place, it sounds like there might be a lot of flowers there. So now, yes, number 12? Fiorentina. 
Yes. Correct. <laughs> and we'll have uh, two more. Come on out. Leonardo's father wanted his son to become an artist. So he asked this successful sculptor, goldsmith, and painter to teach Leonardo various skills. Yes, number three. Better kill. Uh-huh. Correct. People needed this to read his notes because Leonardo wrote with left hand. Uh-huh, number 14. Mirror. Yeah, good job. In which of the following cities did Leonardo not work? A. Florence. B. Milan. C. Naples. D. Amboise. Yes, number C. five. C. You're correct. Good job. Good job. This powerful family of Florence helped many artists. Yes, number Medici. six. Yeah. Man, that was pretty fast. Leonardo da Vinci painted a portrait of Francesco del Giocondo's wife, Elisabetta. It became famous for the mysterious smile on the face. What is this portrait called? Number seven. Mona Lisa. Was he? Michelangelo? Yes, number eight. You are correct! Michelangelo sounds like an, an angel called Mikey. All right, let's go to the next two. Come on out. Hello, ladies. Number nine, let me ask you what you like to do in your free time. I like to read books. Read books. Do you read uh, many books per week or just like one? Just one. Just one, I see. And how about you, number 19? What do you like to do in your free time? No free time? Yes. <laughs> it's a sad day for children, everybody. <laughs> Here's your question. In 1495, Leonardo painted this for the monastery of Santa Maria del Grazi in Milan. Later, his fame was spread across Europe because of this painting. What is it? Very famous painting. Yes, number nine. The Last Supper. <gasps> yes! The Last Supper. Okay, the last two, come on out. All right, number 10, do you have a hobby? Yes. What is it? Reading book. Reading books. Okay. How about you, number 20? Computer. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, here is the final question. Good luck. Leonardo's Annunciation and Mona Lisa are exhibited. Yes, number 10? Le Brew. Le Brew Museum. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. A lot of famous museums and that is a very famous museum with a lot of good art. I think the Mona Lisa is there too. Well, you guys did a very good job. Uh, we have 10. And what we're gonna do now is give everybody a chance, those 30 who didn't make it, we'll give four of them a chance to join you, okay? Please join me in the next round. We'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. The odds are tough. Four spots. 30 individuals competing for those spots. We have a couple questions, and here to help us with those questions, Tommy. Hey, Isaac, I'm back, and I hope that these questions will help you out. And this question is about the voice. 
Mm, do you like to sing on your free time? I like to sing. Uh, maybe, you know, when I'm taking a shower or something like that. Well, anyways, here's the question. Different names are given to the various vocal parts according to how high or low the voice is. For example, Sumi Jo is a singer that sings very high. What do you call a female singer who sings the highest vocal part? What do you call a female singer that sings very, very high, like Sumi Jo? There's a name. Five, four, three, two, one. Spelling is very important. Hold your boards up high. Uh huh. And the answer is. Alright, this next question, it's something that you can enjoy and have fun, especially in the spring. Um, I actually do this, which is climbing mountains, maybe once a month, just to keep healthy. Alright, here's the question, listen carefully. This mountain range stretches over Austria, Switzerland, Italy, Germany, and France, and its highest mountain is Mont Blanc. Napoleon famous for saying impossible is a word to be found only in the Dictionary of Fools across this mountain range to attack Italy. What is it? Very famous mountain range. We want to know the name of the mountain range. Mont Blanc, located there. Five. One, raise your boards. Okay, I see at least one right answer. The correct answer is the Alps. Alps. Alps, Alps. Okay. This question might be a little hard, but listen carefully. This famous English physicist and mathematician saw an apple fall to the ground and thought of the force of gravity. What was his name? Famous guy. He saw an apple fall and he made some scientific uh, statements. Did a lot of research, and he's also from England. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, raise your boards. All right, the correct answer is Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. Well, we got four. They will join the other ten and hopefully do a great job. You guys did a great job. Very good job. And so did our friend Dami. Thanks. Thank you, Isaac, and congratulations to all the four winners, and I wish you the best of luck. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right. See you later. And you guys, we got to go to the next round. Shall we go? Yeah. Let's go. High five, that's what we need right now, a high five. There are 14 folks right now on stage and only five can move on. Now they'll be given facts, hints related to a word. Hopefully they will get it, hopefully they'll make the connection and hopefully they'll get it faster than everybody else because it is important who presses that button down first and gives the correct answer. Okay, if you want to uh, not panic, let's go to our first question. 
What do the four words have in common? Hotel, U.S. General Alphonse Daudet. Yes. One second. Number twelve. Eagle. It's not eagle. Looks like number fourteen is pressed down. Yes, number fourteen. Star. Star is correct. Very good. You're one of our five stars right now. Speaking of stars, of course, generals have stars, the U.S. flag has stars, and the rating of hotels. Five-star hotel? Yeah, it makes sense now. Okay, let's have our next uh, star question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Pie. Steve Jobs. Spinoza, William Tell. All right, it looks like number six is press it down. Your Apple. answer is Apple. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Very good. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Great job, of course. Apple pie. Steve Jobs related to a very famous company, Apple. And William Tell shot that apple. Spinoza, apparently a philosopher, he says, I will plant an apple tree, although the world ends tomorrow. Apples are good. Okay, let's have another good question. What has something to do with the following words? Agora. Myth. Socrates, Olympus. Number two on the end is pressed down her buzzer. Let's see if she knows the answer. Your answer is? Soccer. No, that's not it. All right, number 12 is going for it. Hang on a second while our bunny gets some exercise. And your answer is? God. No. Number 10 going for it. All right, and your answer is? Mars. No. And Sports. what's your answer, 29? Sports. No. Nope. Okay, 24. Greece. Yes, Greece. Greece. Excellent job. A lot of. Greek and Roman mythology, myths, and Socrates, and of course, Olympus. Okay, let's have another question. There are two spots to go. What has something to do with the following words? Big Ben. Cinderella. Cuckoo Bird. Alarm. Number 10, going for it. Clock. Yeah, clock is correct. Good timing with that question. Big Ben, famous clock in London. Cinderella had to get home before the clock struck 12. Cuckoo bird, cuckoo, cuckoo clock, and an alarm clock. I have five of those to help me get up in the morning. Well, we've got one more spot to go. Four spots are filled. Here's our final question. What do the following words have in common? Botticelli. Milos Island. Aphrodite. Planet. Number nine, going for it. Number nine, your answer? Venus. One more time, please. Venus. Yeah, Venus. Very good. Excellent job. Well, we did it. We wanted five and we got them. That's right, the spots are filled. Now in the next round, you will see these five compete. We need a school champion. 
Let's go find one. As a matter of fact, it's time for Fact Master. So one person must have more points than anybody else to move on, to be the school champion. Oh, that's pretty simple. So the tough part, of course, is answering the questions. But how one does that is also crucial. Strategy is very important because there are 10, 20, and 30 point questions. But there's also the chance, the double chance that doubles the value of any question you choose. Normally, it's used with 30-point questions. If you've seen the show, you've seen it done. Normally, kids will wait until the very end, and they'll wait for that one question that everybody uses the chance on the one 30-point question. Sometimes, people use it early. Sometimes, that's the right strategy. Whatever strategy, you want to have more points. Everybody starts with 100 points, and it adds up. Only one moves on. Who will that be? We have five individuals. Please, meet him. Yes, among those five, one will be the school champion. Let's check out the board now. All right, there's the board. Lots of questions, some categories you've seen, and one specifically looks a little bit different. I've seen Super Korea before, but Super Question? Hmm. It is different, it's exciting, and of course, one of those questions, behind one of those questions, is a bonus prize. Regardless of who gets more points than everybody else, if you get that question, you get a special prize. Good luck to all you guys. And let's check out the board. I'm going to choose the first one, a 10-pointer in the category of history. When this ship was finished in 1912, it was the largest steamship. People thought it would never sink. However, the ship left England for New York City and it struck an iceberg in the North Atlantic Ocean. Yes, number six. Titanic. Yeah. Titanic. Near, far, I'm on top of the world. Sorry, I saw that movie too many times. Very good job, number six. You have 10 points. And it is my understanding that you have taken up chess as a hobby. You like chess? Yes. And do you usually win or lose? Oh, usually win. Very good. OK, well, please uh, choose a good category. 10 points for sports. Sports. 10 points. Here we go. The following are national flags of some countries. These four countries have held this competition one after another. This is the world's biggest single sport event. Love by... Yes, number World 10. Cup. World Cup. He says World Cup. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Very good. Okay, Hawk 2. Tied for first place, 110 points, and you have a hobby of drawing, is that right? Yes. So you draw uh, superheroes, or do you have a favorite character? Mm, I like to draw superheroes. Uh, that is sometimes silly. Something silly, sometimes silly, and superheroes. I understand. I totally understand. Very good job, and it's your turn to choose a category. Super Korea of Super Korea. 
Okay, boom. 30 point question, Super Korea, using the chance, I like the strategy, good attitude. Who else, if anybody, wants to try it? It's just Hakju. Okay, if Hakju gets it right, it's worth 60 points. Everybody else, 30? Super Korea, the category. Hello, everyone. Today I'm here at Korea's first traditional medicine museum. It's the Hojun Museum. Let's hop inside together. Hojun Museum was built to commemorate Dr. Hojun, who was a court physician of the Joseon Dynasty. It shows the development of Korean traditional medicine during the Joseon Dynasty. It is full of useful information on Korean traditional medicine. You can check out models of Naewon, which was the royal clinic where Dr. Hojun worked. You can also see Honeywon, which was like public hospitals for people. Trying out the various medical tools and equipment can help you see what it was like at hospitals during the Joseon Dynasty. Hey, I feel like I'm a doctor. Here is a section where you can get your own health check. So I decided to check out my blood pressure and the body type. And the result was... Healthy body and healthy mind. <laughs> I'm so glad. Ready for the question then? King Sanjo of the Joseon Dynasty asked Hojun to write this book. And it was completed during the rule of Gwangegun. It contains information about Korean and Chinese traditional medicines. It is national treasure number 1086 of Korea. What is the name of this book? Number six presses it down. Dongi Bogam. He says, Dongi Bogam. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is. Very good. Big question. Gotta admire Hakju. Gotta admire that move. Very bold, uh, but didn't get it. Of course, you don't get to use your chance anymore. Okay, excellent job, number six. You got it. You're in the lead, 140. And what is your choice of category? 10 points for a super question. Super question. Okay, this should be exciting. First time that we're seeing it. I think uh, our viewers are really going to enjoy this. Check out the 10-point super question. Hello, 최근에는 저희 슈퍼주니어나 소녀시대 같은 인기 가수들의 춤이나 뮤직비디오를 따라하는 동영상도 일반인들이 직접 만들고 올리고 있습니다. 이것은 무엇일까요? Okay, it looks like it's number 10. Hak, you going for it. Your answer? UCC. He says UCC. Yes! Very good. Very good. Uh, this is a mic, you don't have to grab it, it's okay. Uh, you, just, you just talk, it's okay. But UCC, does anybody know what it stands for? Do you know what it stands for? User-created contents. 
And thank you very much, Super Junior. If you're watching, I know you're big fans of uh, Super Kids because it begins with Super. So thank you very much for your question, and we look forward to more Super questions. Okay, well that's it. UCC is correct. Ten more points for you. Second place. Okay, what is your choice right now? Your choice of category? Mm. Music. Music. 20 points. Category, music. heard a song called T.O.P. by Xinhua. This song became famous for sampling Tchaikovsky's music. What is the name of this music written by Tchaikovsky? Very famous ballet as well. Famous music, classic music. There's a story about the ugly duckling that turns into a very beautiful bird. Yes. Lake of Swan. Lake of Swan. Lake of Swan. We'll take it. We will take it. Yes. Now, Hakju, it's officially called Swan Lake, but Lake of Swan, I like it. We'll take it. We give you the points, and because of that, you are tied for first place. Take a look at the board. Right now, number six has 140. Number nine, 100. Of course, number 10, 140. 14, 100, and 24, also 100. All right, you guys. The big questions are remaining, so it's okay. And only one of you has used chance so far, so four of you can double the value. It's anybody's game. All right, please choose the category. Who am I? Who am I going for another 30 point? Whoa, it's a bonus question. Very good. Number 14, using the chance. Anybody else want to use their chance? Number nine, going for it. Okay, six and 24, holding back. Remember, regardless of who wins, whoever answers this correctly gets a bonus prize. So good luck to all of you. Here is the question. Who am I? I have two faces, but one body. I have no legs, but travel around the world. I have pictures of historical people on my body. Number 14. Dragon. I'm Dragon. Sorry? Dragon? That's not it. Let's hear that last part of the hint. I am different in every country. Now it's quite a riddle. When you hear the answer, you're going to think, oh man, of course. But the hints that are given are, are obviously given to kind of confuse you a little bit. So look at them once more. I have two faces, but one body. No legs, but travel around the world. I have pictures of historical people on my body and I'm different in every country. So, what could that be? Yes, number 10? Coin. Coin? Is coin correct? Yes, it is! Very good! Coin is right. Round, you use it every day, and it travels all over the world. Often you see historical figures, um, and of Korea, of course. It's the same deal. You see a lot of uh, historical figures on coins or bills, money. Okay, so with that, you're in the lead. You have chosen so far two of the big questions, 30-point questions. What's your next category? Words. Words, right in the middle for 20 points. Here we go. What word commonly fits in all the blanks? Blank line. Blank band. Four blank. It's not easy. It is not an easy one. Sometimes. Oh, number six. Head. Uh, is it head? Yes, it is. Ho oh, ho ho! That's impressive. 
Very impressive. These two gentlemen back and forth, headlined, headband, and forehead. Okay, wow. Back and forth still. It looks like number 10's in the lead by 10 points. We have two big ones left. Number six, you have 160 points, like I said. 30 points for numbers. Numbers, 30 points. And using the chance. Number 24, do you want to go for it? Nothing to lose. There's no minus if you get it wrong. Nothing to lose. Okay, still says no. So let's have numbers for 30 points. But for number six, if he gets it right, it's worth 60. A, B, and C have 21 coins in total. C gives A two coins, and then A gives a coin to B. After B gives a coin to C, everyone has the same number of coins. How many coins did C start with? Wow, it helps to have a notepad sometimes. I'll repeat it, because it's a bit confusing, but once again, the question is, how many coins did C start with? Yes, number six. Eight. Eight. He says eight. He's using his chance. If it's correct, he gets 60 points added to 160. Is eight the right answer? Yes, it is. Very good. Wow. Huge. That is huge. Excellent. Wow. So A had six, B seven, C eight. You did it. Right now, you are clearly in the lead. There is one question left. 20 points in patterns. <clears throat> Let's go to that. OK, someone using the chance, number 24. So if you get it, you'll get 40 points instead of 20. Very good job. Here is the question. The following clocks have the hour hand and the minute hand that move independently. Look carefully at the first three clocks and answer the following question. What time will the fourth clock show? There's a pattern. What time will the fourth one show? Moving forward. They're doing the math right now, trying to figure out the pattern. Yes, number 14. 525. Yeah, very good. Number six, number six, you were on the right track. On the right track, but it's number 14 who got it right. Good job. Okay, well, thank you so much. But with that chance, with the 60 points that he got, number six is our school champion. And moving on to the final round. Here he is, Pyongju, our school champion. Excellent job. What was the most difficult part so far? Panic attack. Panic attack. But you did not panic. The man is just, uh, uh, I, I feel calm when I'm near you. OK, well, breathe in, breathe out like a chess master you are. Just one more step to go, and it is checkmate. You become the super kid today. Now, uh, great job using the the chance. With that, you leapt into the lead. You stayed there. And now it's time to find a word. Now, you can have a crossword puzzle that you'll choose. There's three possible puzzles, which you choose one, and you got to solve a word. The qu quicker you get through that, the quicker you solve the words. You get certain letters, which lead to the final word. That final word is what we want. Now, do you have any questions? No. You want to say hi to mom or dad? Say anything to mom and dad watching? I will get present for you. He's going to get the prize for you guys. That's such a filial son. OK, well, let's check out the three letters. Like I said, these will lead to possible puzzles. The first 
word, the first hint of the puzzles. Let's see the letters. There's R, D, and C. What's your choice? D. D? Okay. Good luck. Snow White and the Seven. Five seconds. Players carry an oval ball and run to the end of the field. Five seconds. Planets move along this curved path. Five seconds. Mice are afraid of this animal. Cat. Cat. This is where you keep your clothes. 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 Santa Claus is coming to. Okay. Now, again, the goal is to get that final word which you see the first letter of. Two letters could have been revealed, they weren't, it's okay. I'm going to give you two hints, two hints related to that final word. The first one is pear. Pear. This is not the fruit pear, but something else, pear. The second one is food. Food. Pear and food. Chopsticks. He says chopsticks. If he's correct, checkmate, and he's a school champion. If not, well, valiant effort. Very good job. Chopsticks! Yeah! That's right. Here's your prize. You can bring it home to mom and dad. Excellent job. He's bringing it home to you, mom and dad, if you're watching. Did you guys have a fun time? Okay, well please come again and please join us again next time for another round of Super Kids! Woo! 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 Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid will receive a notebook computer. School champion receives a digital camera, while second to fifth place will receive an MP3 player. All contestants will receive a gift certificate from Super Kids. From? Yeah, welcome! Woo Do you know anything? They are round like wheels, but. Points, everybody else 30. Big questions are remaining, so it's over. But one body. Number 10. Five. To B. Yes, number 6. Eight. Now you're all alive again. Number 6. Eight. 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 Eight.